The comparisons are inevitable. The Ford Fiesta and Mazda 2 have arrived at the same time. And though the Ford-Mazda relationship has been reduced since these cars were developed, these two compacts still share much in common. Unlike its Ford counterpart, the Mazda 2 is available only as a hatchback in base sport and upgraded touring trims. And when you boil it down, the Mazda 2's strongest appeal comes in its drivability. It's Mazda doing what they do best, putting their signature sharp driving acumen into everything they build, even their least expensive compact. With a 1.5-liter dual-overhead cam four-cylinder generating 100 horsepower and 98 pound-feet of torque, the driving enjoyment must be derived from other sources, and this is a testament to what small and lightweight can do. Though the standard transmission is a five-speed manual, I spent my time with the optional four-speed automatic. With it, the combined fuel efficiency is reduced from 32 mpg to 29. The Ford Fiesta SFE with a more modern and sophisticated six-speed automated manual returns 33 mpg combined. Driving the Mazda 2 is a refreshingly uncomplicated experience. Just get in and go. It's small and dynamic enough to dart its way through traffic with precision and ease. If you've been hampered with the driving disabilities of something big like an SUV, you'll quickly appreciate the Mazda 2's easy-to-navigate, easy-to-park attributes. Now, of course, I'm not insinuating you replace your Yukon with a Mazda 2, but if you can have a second car or are a young person without the need for the added space, a compact like this Mazda can make a lot of sense. Riding on the same 98-inch wheelbase as the Fiesta, the Mazda 2 is smaller and lighter, weighing only 2,359 pounds with the auto. The Mazda favors passenger room slightly, while the Fiesta gives a little more cargo volume, though neither of these cars offers a very appealing back seat. Adults can get in, but it's no party. With a base sport model priced from just under $15,000, the Mazda 2 is about $1,000 less than a comparable Fiesta. But even so, if you value style and amenities over a more pleasurable organic driving feel, the Fiesta will better suit your needs. The Mazda 2 lacks the flush interior features and feeling of quality you find in the Ford. And personally, I can't find the visual excitement that I do in the Fiesta here in the Mazda 2. It would be nice to see Mazda at a grand touring trim level with a more uptown feel. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.